Hello and welcome to another episode of Lemur's Corner. I am Lemur. Today we are talking about our brand new motorboat. It's going to be the upgraded version of the raft. You guys got to see them right next to each other. So let's go ahead, talk to them about them side by side here, guys, because it's going to be extremely important to talk about these. So the old wooden raft had a max limit of 88. It could only go forward and you could turn it. And it had a sail that you could take up and down as much as you wanted to. But basically, the wooden raft was very limited in what it can do, and it was very, very slow. Now we've got this brand new motorboat. On top of it, guys, I want to go ahead and show you guys that this thing had 2,000 experience. If you look at the top right, or 20,000 health. You guys can see in the top right right now it says 20,000 health. That's how we know how much we know how much health it has. And the new motorboat has way more than that. So we'll go ahead and show you guys here in a minute once we do a little bit more talking about. It. So the limit was 88. This one is now 138. That's an extra 50 pieces you guys can add to there. On top of it. It has an inventory. It's only one inventory slot, but it takes gas. So you stick the gas in, and then you can turn this baby on as soon as it's on. You can drive it. You can do whatever you want with it. It's humming. You guys can see it purring right there. Look at that baby purr. So we'll go ahead and jump on this baby. We'll show us, and look at that health. 32,000 health. Holy smokes. However, there is a weight limit on it. So we do have a little bit of a problem on that one. We're going to have to explore the weight limits on these guys, as you guys can see. So let's Go ahead and jump back on the other boat and just show you guys that the wooden raft did not have a weight limit. There is no weight limits on this raft, which means if we're thinking about it, we'll have to slap on some stuff and see if it increases the weight based on the exercise. But we'll get into that here in a minute, guys. We'll talk about that a little bit more as we start talking about the build. But so the benefits of this motorboat, one, it's faster. There's a better big part. It's got more pieces it can take. And two, it's just way faster and it can go backwards. How exciting is that, guys? This thing can go backwards. It's not quick when it goes backwards, but it goes backwards, and that is awesome. So if you don't think it's that fast, we'll just go ahead and get this thing moving real quick. You guys can kind of take a look at what you guys think of how fast this thing is. I think it's pretty dang quick. I mean, as I said, we're whipping around here real fast. It swims. You guys can turn this thing around. It turns much, much, much better. However, with that weight limit, we might have a little bit of an issue of being able to store stuff on it. So it's going to be more of a combat boat, I feel like. So let's go ahead and jump back on this wooden raft just so you guys can kind of compare the speed. So here's the wooden raft. So you can tell, much, much, much faster. That turn radius was 10 times better. As you guys can see, I'm kind of swinging out here. I'm going to hit this thing. I'm going to have to get around this rock. And that one pin turn, turned on a pin. So that's what we're looking at. So now we now need to look at, it's got 138 limit. So we now need to talk about what the access limits are. So let's go ahead and jump on this one. As you guys can see, I've made myself a little boat here. We can go ahead and jump on it. And as you guys can see, I am now standing on it. So, let's go ahead and jump back on this. It's got 354 pounds on it. And where did the 354 pounds come? It's not my character. That's right, guys. Each piece counts as weight. They're going to give you weight based on the pieces. I don't know why it's that way. I don't know what the reasoning is behind it. But they have done it that way. So now each of those pieces are giving it weight. And there's going to be a limit. Because even when I stand on this one, you guys check it out. There's still no weight on it, so my weight does not matter on this boat. However, let's go ahead and bring in a couple items, and I'll show you guys here real quick. We'll just grab a couple foundations, and those are 172, if I remember correctly. There they are. Let's go ahead and slap one of these babies down. I'm not making this perfect. I'm just going to show you guys, if I jump on here, hold H, we have 90 pounds in weight. 90 pounds just from that. How crazy is that, guys? So there's going to be a weight limit on there. We're going to have some serious issues on it. It's going to be changing things up. So give me here one second here, guys. I'll catch up with you guys in a minute. I'm going to grab a couple extra things just to kind of test a couple more things out with you guys on camera. So hold on one moment, guys. All right, well, welcome back, everyone. So we are back here. We are looking at this stuff, and we've got a, got a storage box on here. It looks like it's got the same requirements as the last one. You guys see I can't place a vault on here i don't know why we can't place a vault on here because you can place one on this one it's which is just ridiculous because if you watch i can slap this baby on and i can place a vault no they got rid of that the structure cannot be placed on a platform hmm huh. interesting so vaults got changed around a little bit too guys so we're going to go ahead and ignore that but basically we have our storage boxes on here and you guys can see that we have nothing in it, so I'm going to go ahead and take this and slap it in there, and it's 52 pounds. I want to note that storage box weighs, weighs 5 pounds, so we had 52 pounds on there, if you guys remember correctly. We'll hit H, and there it is. It increased it by 20, 
four pounds. 20 pounds. 24 pounds? No, 34 pounds. 34 pounds. Correct? 97 plus 34. 34 pounds. And there is 52 in it. So I don't know what the ratio is. So what I was decided to do, I was going to go ahead and just give this thing a ton of weight. So let's just go ahead and throw a bunch of stuff on here. I'm going to spawn a whole pile of junk, junk in here for us, guys. So we can just go ahead and get this thing up and overloaded. And let's see what it does with this weight issue. Because I've got a couple thousand pounds. I apologize for that right there. And I want you guys to go ahead and see if this weight requirement is something that's going to be an issue for this thing. So we just do a whole pile of junk in there. You guys can see this 5,000 pounds in there. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. And it's technically overweight, but it still moves. Let's double check that it's overweight. It is definitely overweight. So it looks like the weight item is actually a glitch. So we didn't need to do that. But it's important to know, I guess, it shows that there's a weight limit. Maybe it's because it's on the one thing. I don't know. I don't think there's supposed to be a weight limit on it, so I believe it's just a graphic error. So don't worry about it. As you guys just saw, we just kind of learned a little bit together. Let's go ahead and make this daytime again so you guys can see it. I don't want you guys to be hidden out here. There we go. So, oh, wow. Blinding light. So we can see that this boat moves really quick. It's got no weight limit. That's one thing I was worried about. On top of it, I wanted to go ahead and tell you guys that you can sink foundations on these things the exact same way you used to. You can extend out those foundations just how it was. If you look at this one, it's actually a sunken foundation. You can tell by where the foundations are. If you see them, I sunk those foundations in there. Worked just fine. I did the same thing, same idea, where you jump onto it and you place it. So nothing major there. So now it's time for us to go ahead, and we're going to have to start building some new designs for these awesome speedboats. I'm really, really excited to make some speedboat designs to get some cool stuff going, especially knowing now that there is no weight limit. I was really worried about that when I saw that weight up there. I was like, oh, my goodness, 2,800 pounds? That's going to hold nothing nothing and you guys can see it moves real real quick no major issues this thing is flawless it doesn't use gas that quickly you guys can see i'm, I'm not really burning through very much gas and let's just go ahead and tear through here show you guys that this thing cooks pretty quick it's not like laser speed or anything but i love the turn radius on this thing that full speed look at that turn look at that turn once you get down a little bit of speed we can jump down I'm trying to keep it pointed down i apologize guys it's just so you guys can see and everything but it moves quick and i'm really excited about all the cool designs we're going to get with those extra 50 pieces on this speedboat uh it's actually a motorboat i apologize i'm calling it the speedboat because i'm used to the boat over here the raft that's just terribly slow so as you guys can see i just drove that thing around a little bit we've had you guys have watched me drive this thing the whole time and that's it we've wasted 44 percent of our first fuel so we still have another hot 99 fuel to go through before this thing's done so these speedboats are going to be game changing game changing because they are fast enough so then we have to go and test them out we'll have to test them with the leads and see how they do against the leads if we can dodge them and all that kind of fun stuff so we're gonna go ahead talk about that some more later we'll make another video with some huge speedboat designs maybe make a speedboat boat so it could be a lot of fun. I hope you guys are excited as much as I am for all these new designs and everything. So we'll see you guys on the next episode of the Lehman's Corner. Make sure you guys subscribe or like to the channel if you are not part of it. If you want to see any designs or if you really have some great ideas you want to let us know about or something you want to see for another video, make sure you guys drop a comment down below. And we'll see you guys on the next episode. Make sure you have a fantastic day.